So in primary, we take what Mr. Wright has done with the beginning children and we begin to build on that. Um, so the children that do are new to our <coughs> classroom start mostly in the sensorial area, which they're finding their order and where to place things and figure out how things go by shape, size, and things like that. That'll, they'll use later on in the bigger math works. So tonight we're going to talk about the binomial and trinomial cube, which will later on the children will re-see up and upper. Um, but for us, it's just a three-dimensional puzzle, and they're just learning how to the cube, they're learning the shape, the color, how to place it, how to arrange the puzzle, um, which is pretty difficult. It doesn't seem difficult for us, but and all we do as the guide is say, red touches red, and we put it on. Red touches red, black touches black. So it's a very simple language, um, and they're just building the puzzle from that. And this is building their mathematical mind and putting things into order that they'll use later on in quantity and symbol that we have, like the spindle box. And once we move into addition and things like that in the math area, so once they finish, they will have, and then they put it in. So it's very limited talking. <coughs> but it's beginning to build that mind that they will use for the larger math works later on. And as they move up into lower, where they're doing larger, even larger works, which we'll see soon. Um, so the binomial cube is very simple. And they just touch the colors, shape, and put it back in. And then the trinomial cube, we add a, an extra layer and then a new, new color, and that's so exciting to them. It's, oh, there's yellow. Um, and again, they just build it and put it back into the box and do it. Sure. Show the first so one. So it's you always start with the largest cube. So they're going to start with red, and once again, very limited language. But you say red touches red, black touches black. So we're do that. Red touches red, black touches black. And I don't know if you can see it, but the lid, the the shapes get smaller, so they mm -hmm. can see that the black fits there. And sometimes they'll choose this. And they say, oh, that's too big. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So then they'll do red touches red, black touches black. And it needs to be smooth across. It has to be the same height. So sometimes they'll pick. And we always tell them they start with the solid cube. So this level is the red solid cube. So they might choose this. And then we remind them, you know, go across. Oh, that's not touching. OK, I'm going to put that back. And I'm going to find a piece that touches. So that because blue touches blue and black touches black. And so this is black, and this is black. So black touches black. So. And then yellow. So they might pick a short one, and once again, they're going to look and see that it's not correct. And then they're going to choose. And then they'll move it back into this. Now this is the tricky part. Sometimes it's hard for them to move it back in. So we encourage them to take they take it one at a time and, and rebuild it inside the box. Because, you, you know, sometimes they get the level all done and then they go to move it and if they try to do more than one at a time, the whole thing falls and then they have to start over. So, sense of order and taking one at a time, piece by piece, putting it into the box. So then the lesson would say that you would tell them that then they're going to pick the next biggest cube. So they're going to do blue the solid cube, the next biggest solid cube. So they're going to choose the blue. And once again, they're going to build around the blue cube. So they're going to say, you know, red touches red, black touches black. But this just has red, so red touches red. And then they're going to look for the next piece. Blue touches blue. So sometimes it's tricky because the blue is standing up. They have to turn it to make it fit. And it's very hard for them. They it don't is. get, and they'll stick it. They'll stick it like this. Straight up, and then have but, no but, idea that all you do is flip it sideways. So we, you know, black touches black, blue touches blue, black touches black, blue touches blue. And then these pieces they have to turn to, which sometimes throws them. Black touches black. And then this is the blue, so we have to find a blue piece that fits. Blue touches blue, black touches black. And it's just a puzzle for them, just putting it together, making sure that it, it is smooth across. You know, you can't have a short piece, you know, they could do, oh, no, doesn't fit. And then they're going to move this level. And once again, you know, they have to do it one at a time, moving it into the box. And 
now we're going to build around the yellow solid cube. Red touches red, and and once again, they're not. We're not talking to them. We're just saying red touches red, black touches black. And so what happens is, is that they're seeing this, and later on when they get to lower and upper, it's already in their mind as a puzzle, but they're going to learn the algebraic, algebraic formula once they get there. Then they once again move it. And then you hope that after they've done all this work and they have it back in, that they put the lid on it and put the doors on it correctly. So, so that when they're carrying it back to the shelf, which it often doesn't, happens it quite does. a few times. Yeah. And we, we lose, you know, then they'll yeah. carry it with two hands back to the shelf and put it back. So everything is on the lid for them. Yep. And that's the guide. And that's the binomial and trinomial cubes. Yeah.